Hello. Welcome back to helping me with another guide on Creator Verse. Alright, today I'm going to be showing you guys basically how to make a trap where liquid falls from the ceiling. So you can use like lava or corruption. I'm using corruption for this one. Alright, let's go into my house. All right, so my trap is currently set up down here in the basement. As you can see, we have some holes in the roof. Yeah, but there's nothing really up there. Can't see anything except stone. Yeah, nothing but stone up there. All right, whatever. Some kind of flooring. But if you come down here and you enter the wrong password, we get covered in corruption. I should give you guys a look at that. See, whole basement fills with corruption. So yeah, I'll be showing you guys how to make that trap. Of course, you can put more holes if you want it to fill faster or whatever and the unsuspecting person wouldn't be ready to leave like that so it'd probably work a little bit more effectively something like to this nature kind of just waiting for the door to open and then you're like ah shit you know but it's not a long trap so it won't kill you unless you get it wrong a bunch of times so yeah Diamond. All right, so let's get to it. I'll show you guys how to set this up. Or a smaller version, anyway. All right. First, we need a pretty decent foundation, so let's, what should we use? Have a good bit of bedrock. Let's use that. Or limestone, whatever this is. It's going to be a very mini miniature version, so bear with me. Okay, so I'll be showing you guys how to do both the trap itself and the keypad to where if they get the input wrong, it sets off the trap. So you get a two in one thing going here. I should probably put a door if I do that though. Uh, do I have a door? I do not. Can we make a door? We can. Let's drop the door here. And with this roof, we want to have it at least two blocks higher than the actual roof is going to be. So, we would have probably the roof start about here. So we need an extra set. Oh man, I think the corruption would actually make this wood corrupted. 
is oh uh, let's see that's one two roof or roof and then seven we just make it this is the roof yeah that's good Seems I do not. Doesn't matter. Okay, so what we want to do here. The liquid would be in this tile at the. Oh no. Yeah, at the very top. So. Since we have it like this, we can kind of just set it up from up here. It'll work. Do one. Yeah, that should work. And just drop our liquid. It's gonna corrupt this wood. It's all fine then. Corrupt. Okay. There we got that set up. Let me grab some lights real quick so I can see. Okay, now we have our little hallway set up. I'm trying to wait for this the rest of this wood to corrupt before I start the other part. What we're gonna do though is, well, I think we're gonna need two. We're gonna need two, two of these block phasers. Set that here. We're gonna need a number pad comparison and a logic gate. Is that it? It's not it. We also need a keypad, which I currently do not see. Let's make one. Keypad, number pad, same thing. Put the other thing. Alright, we're all set. So, here, obviously, you could make it a lot less obvious, but for the sake of time, I'm gonna make it pretty obvious. As you saw in my, my house, you can't really see anything in there. It's just a big old trap. Okay, so here we're gonna have our block phasers, and we're gonna rotate them so that they're facing the liquid. Oh, I pick it up. What the heck? It disappeared. <laughs> but it's still there. Okay. Ain't it great? Um, so they'll both set up there. Gonna put a keypad here. And we're gonna put another one on the inside. We're gonna put our, our logic stuff. Just put it right here. Okay, we're all set. 
just open this up. Alright, to set up this little complicated area, which is basically verifying the input from this keypad that it's your password and it's going to go through all this. So, how this works is we're going to link this here into the number comparison gate and link this side of the number comparison to that. So let's check it for both to make sure. Actually, actually let's break that brick. That one there. And this one on the other side. So this one goes in, gets compared to that one. And we're gonna send the result to our logic, which basically says forget if it's nor or x nor. But it's going to compare them, and if the result's the same, then it's going to spit out and let the stuff come from the roof. So, dot, 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 dot. What are we receiving here? Ah. Go away. There you go. Alright, send this to our things up here. For some reason, this one is still invisible. That's odd. I can't link anything to it either. Let's see if I walk up there, will it activate again? You want to fight? Oh, I can't see. Really painful trying to show at night. Lack of lights. There we go. Alright, we're gonna set this up just to see if it. Oh, there we go. Came back. Send. Clear. Send. To the door. Not sure what I sent to this one. Um, receive. I want to say it's the keypad. Pretty sure it's the keypad. Hmm. Let's give it a shot. So let's test this out, see if it works. I'm about to get attacked again. I am. Okay, this should open the door if I get it correct. That's our password. Door's closed. So if I get this right, it should open the door for two seconds. Awesome. Okay, now let's test the getting it wrong part. What we want these to do is control the liquid. So we make both phasers control the liquid. So when they come on, the liquid disappears. When they go off, the liquid comes back. As you see here, let's turn it on. All the liquid's gone. And off. All the liquid's back. So we want these to be, to start at an off position. So let's see if when we get the password wrong, the liquid should turn off. 
Let's see. Um, I need a longer timer so we can check it. Let's put it six seconds. Eight. Okay. Let's go see. Nope. Okay. What did we do wrong here? Let's change this to no. Output is true only if input and two are both false. Let's try X and R. It's on. They're not. Ah, uh, it's not. It's not like there. This keypad linked here. We have the other keypad linked here and here. We have the send from this one going to our door and going to the receive for this one. And we have the send for this one going to both of our thingy thingies here. I forget what they're called. What's it called? You know what it's called, I don't, those things. And this keypad goes here. So we set your password here, and the inside verifies. All right, so that's the majority of the traps set up. Our last thing we have to do is delete the blocks where the liquid is. So delete, delete. Now we have our trap set. What we're also going to do is lock this door. And I think we are done. Let's lock these two so nobody else can touch us. Oh crap. <laughs> you can't lock those unless you turn them off. Alright, let's test the trap out. As you can see, got our holes up here. And let's go. 585 is our password. Works perfectly. Alright, let's get it wrong. You can die in here with me. There you have it. Will it go away though? Did I fail my mission? Okay, we have a little bug. Liquid is not going away. Ah, it's because they're so close together. When the liquid stops pouring, they've already connected at the bottom and made a bigger pool. So yeah, that's the only flaw in this one. You don't want to make them so close together. Or you won't be able to actually stop it from flowing down. Let's see if I can take this out. Ah. Okay, so to combat that problem, actually, if we left it this way, we just have to move our phasers down one row, that's all. 
which is an issue because we have this here. But it's not impossible. Just take that. Take that. Um, this is the messy part. Alright, go in here. We reactivate it so we get our flow going again. Replace our phasers, and the problem should be fixed. Bam, bam, rotate, rotate, and we have to reconnect them, which is no problem. And set them back to any block with liquid in it. Say can't interact. Interact. Okay. And let's just see, turn it off again. Save. this to destroy the evidence. Now we're all set. This is how <laughs> corrupted grass. This is how you make fallen liquid trap. And just show again. Set the timer to whatever you want it. It's at six seconds, so it takes a little while. And getting it wrong. Six seconds, it should clear up. Bam. There you have it. Hope this was helpful. If you had any questions, leave it down in the comment section. But other than that, Thanks for watching. Peace.